I'd say this is by far the highlight of my career. You know, I found out last week I wasn't running the Trans Am series, and I figured I'd better make a post or something on Facebook just to let my fans know that I'm not going to be racing Trans Am. So then I started looking into some NASCAR teams, and I found a few teams that didn't have a driver yet. So I contacted them, and the main concern after that was my NASCAR license. I talked to a lot of different drivers, and they said, it's going to take two weeks to get your NASCAR license. I was able to do it in one day. So after I got that, you know, I was able to come up with some great sponsors. They're the guys who got me here. It's a brand new car, so we had to, you know, keep basically putting the Road America setup on the car. We got one clean lap, ran a decent lap, and then I had a brake failure going into turn one. You know, going in about 160 miles per hour, no brakes, it's kind of a little bit scary. I like every corner on this track. You've got some high speed corners like turn one, the carousel, the kink. Then you have big braking zone into a really slow corner, turn five. This track has trees, this track has elevation change. It really goes with the flow. I think that's what draws a lot of drivers to like it. I think a top 20 is realistic. A top 15 would be great. And we'll see what the rain does. It's supposed to rain. And I know this track like the back of my hand. I have the home track advantage. So if it does rain, maybe I can you know, end up in the top 10 maybe.